Okay, so I got this pasta pin. It's from Fantis.com. I bought it at a kitchen collection store. And it's made for cutting wide noodles, half inch wide noodles, pasta, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to show you how to cut lady locks using this. It makes it a handy tool. I'm starting with pennant pastry. Um, I, I buy the big sheet and I cut it into six pieces and they're five by five whenever I cut them. So I get six of them. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this out. So it is roughly about, oh, seven inches wide. Um, six, seven inches wide. And I'm using a rolling pin that my dad made me out of a dowel rod. These are really, really handy just out of a dowel rod because you can get in little tiny corners whenever your dough gets crooked. You can just go like this and, and square it all up again. And it's really nice. I don't like to have uneven pastry when I'm doing things. And the reason is because I can't cut a straight line. And if it's not straight to start with, it's going to be really crooked. Okay, so I've rolled this out. And this is just over 7 inches wide. So at a half inch, I'm going to get about 14 from this um, by the time I cut them all. And I found out that if you put some flour on this, and you don't want this to be wet, you know, like damp or anything. You, you want it to have a little bit of a flour feel on it. And just line this up with the end of the dough over here. And you're going to start cutting it. And you got to hold it down and put pressure on it. I watched a video for the pasta and they showed you you have to tear each one separately. But I'm finding out that, um, that, that they come apart quite easily. Like this. Not any harder than whenever you cut them with a pastry wheel or, or a knife or however you typically do them. And uh, then I'm going to do this one too. And I'm getting a couple little smidges of scraps. But you know what? Cost of doing business, I guess. But anyway, I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 out of 1 square. And if I got 6 squares, that's 72. That's 6 dozen that I'm going to get, and I pay $2.99 a sheet at my local uh, chocolate boutique store. And get these, and you wrap them. Whoops. I don't have editing, so you got that drop there. And I push down on a little bit so that hopefully we don't get any tails. And put it on the cookie sheet. But look at that. All of them just slip up quite easily. See that? So, great investment. I give it a six rolling pins up, better than five, because it makes it so much easier to cut lady locks.